Have you ever looked around your neighborhood or school and wondered how you could make a change for the better? Do you see problems in your community and think that you can make a difference? Welcome to Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council's Silver Award Workshop. By earning your Girl Scout Silver Award, you can make the world a better place. The Girl Scout Silver Award is the highest award a Girl Scout cadet can earn. This gives you the chance to show that you are a leader who is organized, determined, and dedicated to improving your community. Earning this award puts you among an exceptional group of girls who have used their knowledge and leadership skills to make a difference in the world. We'll be walking through the Silver Award Guidelines for Girl Scout Cadets booklet. We'll provide a link to download this booklet at the end of this workshop so you can have your own copy to make notes in. Here are the steps you'll take to earn your Girl Scout Silver Award. First, go on a cadet journey. Then, identify issues you care about. Build your Girl Scout Silver team or decide to do it alone. Explore your community. Pick your Take Action project. Develop your project. Make a plan and put it into motion. And then, finally, reflect share your story, and celebrate. In this workshop, we'll walk through each step so you know exactly how to earn your silver award. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first step to earn your silver is to go on a Girl Scout cadet journey. Once you complete your journey, the suggested minimum time for earning your Girl Scout silver award is 50 hours. In other words, 50 hours for steps two through eight. These suggested hours are a guide. You can start by planning the time in chunks, dividing it up by the steps. As a Girl Scout, you're committed to doing your very best with each step, but how much time per step is different for every girl, so the hours aren't a rule. Each step you take toward making a difference in the world around you gives you a great chance to learn and grow, and that will make your award project an amazing one. You may want to create a notebook for your Silver Award project. In your notebook, you can track how many hours you dedicate to your Silver Award project and other resources we'll talk about soon. Step number two is to identify the issues you care about. To solve any problem, you must first identify the problem. Start by asking yourself, what matters to you? Let's do an activity to brainstorm things we care about. This could be the start of our Silver Award project. Ask yourself these questions. Do you find yourself reading articles about endangered species? Do you worry about where homeless children sleep at night? Do you wish that younger students had a cheerful place to stay after school while waiting for their parents to pick them up? Grab a piece of paper and take seven minutes to jot down issues you care about and how these issues impact your community. You can use this chart as a way to organize your thoughts.
Step number three is to build a team or decide to go solo. Let's look at both options. If you decide to build a team, the three to four girls you work with can be Girl Scouts, non-Girl Scouts, or a combination of both. All the girls on your team must play an active role in choosing, planning, and developing the team's Take Action project. Keeping your team small ensures that everyone can participate fully. You and your team will also partner with others in the community to complete your project. In your Silver Award Guidelines booklet, you'll find great suggestions about building a successful Silver team, including ways to work well with others and suggestions for your first team meeting. If you decide to go solo, you can create and implement a project on your own. However, you will still want to partner with others in the community, friends, neighbors, business owners, in order to earn your award. After all, leaders like you know how to team up with others, even when they're in charge. Now that you have begun to think about issues that concern you, it's time to do some exploring to find out what your community needs are and where your areas of interest and the community needs may overlap. Communities are groups of people who have something in common. You belong to many communities. Your school is a community, for example. So is your math class or your debate team. Even kids who ride the same bus every day to school are a community. Other communities include your neighborhood, your place of worship, your town, and so on. So think about what communities you belong to. Now, grab a piece of paper and take five minutes to brainstorm all the communities you're a part of.
Before you choose your project, you'll want to think of ways to map these communities. A community map is a drawing that shows the community's needs and resources, including contacts who may help you when you start working on your Take Action project. Today, we're just going to map one of these communities, so circle one of the communities on your list to focus on today. Don't worry, you're not picking your project just yet. Okay, have one circled? Because a community is made up of people, you'll be thinking about what people need. That is, what will improve their lives? What helps them out? What makes them happier? Take five minutes to make a list of this community's needs. What could be improved? What could you use your special skills to do to make this community better?
It will take some time to make your community map for each community you're a part of. Try walking through your school, biking around your neighborhood, or taking a bus ride through your town. During the course of your travels, you'll naturally see different aspects of your community. You can also visit places such as the library, town hall, or the community center, your church, your synagogue, or your mosque, where there are people and resources who can help identify community needs. You might even attend one or more of the town meetings to find out what concerns people in your area have. When you meet people who might be able to help you with your Take Action project, jot down their names and contact information in the following community contacts list. Start by talking to people you know, such as neighbors, teachers, friends, and then ask them to introduce you to other people in the community, such as business owners, religious leaders, council members, police officers, or staff members at community centers. Check out these example questions to help you as you conduct interviews with people in the community. After you've explored all your communities, you should be able to find overlap between community needs and your interests. When you've found something you're passionate about and something your community needs, you're ready to pick your Silver Award project. Let's take a look at the questions you should ask yourself before you pick your project. Review the issues chart, community map, and interview notes. Then choose a project based on what matters the most to you or where you think you can create positive change. If you have a hard time deciding, write a pro-con list for each choice. Don't forget that many issues are big and complicated, and those can be hard to fix. It might be a good idea to narrow your focus. Pick just one aspect of your issue and develop a solution to that specific problem. Let's check out some of the Silver Award projects from around the world. Grace in Florida focused her project on homelessness by establishing a program called Warm Hugs. Jennifer and Courtney in Alabama created comfort kits for families with premature babies. A cadet team from Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes Council zeroed in on hunger with a project called Who's Eating What? Let's check out one more. These North Carolina Girl Scouts took a stand against bullying by educating their community with a project called Band Against Bullying. Now that you've chosen your project, it's time to make a plan. In step number six, you'll develop your project or design a roadmap for completing your project. Your Silver Award Guidelines booklet gives you a lot of good instructions about how to outline these steps of your project. There are lots of good questions to ask yourself to help map out when you should do what, who should help you, and what supplies you may need. Think about how to make this project last. You'll be investing a lot of time and energy, so you want to make sure the project is sustainable. Check out these ideas for projects. Consider partnering with a local adult who is an expert on your topic. For example, if you were doing a project with a local animal shelter, Maybe your project advisor would be someone who works at a local animal shelter or as a veterinarian. Consider asking them to be your project advisor so they can help guide you through the project. It's time to get started. Step number seven is to make a plan and put it in motion. In other words, do it. Your project needs to involve action by you and your team, if you have one, from the planning stages all the way to earning the Girl Scout Silver Award. Build a list of what you need to do and how it can be done, and then figure out who will do what. Remember, if you're working with a team, one or more girls can volunteer for each task. Also, decide when each task needs to be finished. Then write all the information into a make a plan chart like this one. Keep a record as you go by taking photos, shooting videos, or making a scrapbook. Not only will it be much easier to share your story when you're finished, but it will be fun. Now this is very important. For you to get credit for completing your Silver Award, 
you must submit this final report form to Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council Headquarters. Don't forget to have your project advisor sign the form as a way to say that the project was approved. We'll provide this form at the end of the workshop for your convenience. When you get to step number eight, it will be time to reflect on your accomplishments, share your story, thank others who helped you, and celebrate your achievements. Be sure to download the Silver Award Guidelines booklet. We'll provide the link at the end of the workshop. This booklet has information on each step to earn your Silver Award and will help guide you along your award adventure. Have a question? Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council will happily guide you along your Silver Award adventure. Just email silveraward at gsbsc.org.